Elder Spencer W. Kimball explains why, as Latter-day Saints, we should have a style of our own. Unchastity is the great demon of the 1950s. Avoid it as you would, well, as you would everything that is bad. I think contributing to this thing, or probably the product of it, is the dress. I know I'm not going to be popular when I say this, but I am sure that the immodest dresses that are worn by our young women and our mothers contribute in some degree to the immorality of this age. I wonder if our young sisters realize the temptation they're just plotting to young men when they leave their bodies uncovered. I wonder if they do. I don't think they do. I notice frequently where I go the very tight-fitting sweaters, body-revealing, form-fitting sweaters. I think sweaters can be worn, but they don't need to be worn to emphasize the form of the girl who wears them. I see young women on the streets wearing shorts. There is no place for women to ever wear shorts unless it's in their own home. No shorts. It's immodest. Now let me say a word about the appearance of an evening gown. Evening gowns can be the most beautiful things in the world. And if they clothe the body of a sister, long and great, beautiful they can be. But the Lord never did intend that they should be backless or topless. Now I want to tell you it's a sin. There is no reason why any woman needs to wear a gown because it's the style. We can create a style of our own. And anyway, I know women who have worn evening gowns for 30 years and have never yet worn an immodest one, and they have purchased them from stores. And any store in this area or any other area will put in stock the dresses that you demand. I went to a university function once, two-thirds of all the young women who came to that dance came with strapless gowns or with strap gowns and the one is just about as bad as the other and they're an abomination in the sight of the Lord. And I don't know what our mothers are thinking about who will let their little 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 year old girls wear gowns that are immodest. I repeat again, you don't know how much temptation you're just throwing before the boy. Now a woman is the most beautiful when her body is clothed and her face adorned with her lovely hair, properly taken care of, then she's her, at her best. And men will love you for it. And men are not going to love you more because your necks are bare. Girls. They'll love you more when you are properly dressed. Of course, if he's a vicious man, he would like you to be dressed only partially. Why does a girl dress in a bathing suit in a contest? With only one reason. She's willing to sell most anything for popularity and to get a crown, to be a queen. And then there are millions, not here, thousands of eyes of men who want to see that body too. And so they dress in a very, very skimp bathing suit. Here's another one. She has shown the judges how she looks in a bathing suit. Think of that. Latter-day Saint girls showing judges, showing men, showing the world how they look in a bathing suit. It's abominable. Now, our Latter-day Saint boys and girls are the finest in the world. There is no group anywhere from ocean to ocean that can even compare with them. And yet, we're not good enough. There are too many misfortunes. There are too many who have lost themselves. I think practically every boy and girl grows up with a desire to be righteous. I think they're fundamentally good. But the devil knows how to destroy us. He knows that he can't tempt you to commit adultery immediately, but he knows that if he can get you full of liquor, or if he can get you into this necking, petting program, this unwarranted, this vicious, this abominable practice that is so common among our boys and girls, he knows that you do have a limit to your strength. And he knows if he can get you to do it long enough, he can get you to 
uh, sit in your car late enough after the dance. If he can get you to park long enough at the end of this lane, he knows, because he's thousands of years of experience, he knows that the best girl and the best boy will finally succumb and will fall. <laughs>